Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> Today we have a double header. We're going to announce the uh, million dollar winner, the third million dollar winner in Colorado for Comeback Cash. We're also going to announce five new $50,000 scholarship winners. And just as a reminder, everybody who's been vaccinated is entered. If you're 12 to 17, you're in the drawing for the $50,000 scholarships. We still have 15 more to give away. Uh, and if you're 18 or up, you're in the drawing for a million dollars. The final drawing is July 7th. Uh, don't put it off, get vaccinated. Uh, it's the right thing to do, it protects your health. If protecting yourself and your family isn't enough, maybe the 50,000 or million dollars uh, will get you to make the right decision and get it done. Uh, two of our scholarship recipients are joining us remotely today. Uh, in fact, one of them is visiting colleges as we speak, uh, and he'll be joining us from the state of Utah. Um, and we all wanna get to the point where resuming for the sake of convenience, not necessity. And so um, uh, we do have two that are out of state and we'll be zooming and, and the three that are in state are able to join us. It's an exciting time in Colorado. We're all ready for the Colorado comeback and whether it's catching a ball game at Coors or taking part in Juneteenth festivities this weekend, uh, this is really uh, an exciting week. Um, everybody age 12 and up can get vaccinated. We are continuing to see in our state the areas with the higher vaccination rates have very little to no spread of COVID in their communities. Areas that have lower vaccination rates still have very high COVID rates uh, relative to the rest of the country. Uh, and so we really want to make sure that everywhere uh, in our state, no matter where you live, folks get vaccinated. It's a really a triumph of modern science, a safe, highly effective vaccine, ending the pandemic, saving lives. And we're seeing that in our state as well, where the areas that have lower vaccination rates, sadly, have higher COVID rates, and the areas with higher vaccination rates have lower COVID rates. Um, the Colorado Comeback Cash Scholarship is a key opportunity to inspire 12 to 17 year olds to get vaccinated. And, and there's a lot of folks that uh, plan to someday, right? They just put it off, put it off, busy, don't like needles. Um, this is a good reason to get it done now. Of course, to have a normal summer and enjoy yourself, but also, uh, to have the chance of winning $50,000 scholarships. I don't think any of these five great young people had any idea that they might get a $50,000 scholarship uh, simply by helping to end a pandemic. Doing good and, uh, and, and, and doing right and helping to earn money for college. Uh, these students' unique experiences um, really show that the sky's the limit in Colorado, and uh, they're great examples of the, of the Colorado spirit and, 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 and uh, protecting themselves early on from the virus, and now um, as ambassadors of the vaccination program to their fellow teens. Uh, I now want to welcome our three winners in person and two remote, Sabine, Hannah, and Levi. Please join me on the stage. We have their parents here as well with us. Uh, and I wanna welcome Brady and Zen, who are joining us remotely and we'll hear from them uh, momentarily. At 17, Sabine uh, has AP credits in life sciences that she can put to her college education. Now, she has a $50,000 uh, fund to invest in degrees in, in, the, in her field of choice. And there's a good chance that that could be biology or biotech. Sabine got her first dose with her mom back in April. She was eligible with 16 and up. She was over 16 at the time. And she's also gotten to learn all about vaccine development. She's um, become something of an expert on it. And she's very much looking forward to continuing her education at Kenyon College this fall. Sabine, did, did knowing the science behind the vaccine and being interested in the science help you feel more confident? And how will this scholarship help you reach your goals? So I had learned about vaccines when I was in school, but also before I got the COVID vaccine, I read several articles just to learn some of the science behind this. And by doing this, it made me feel a lot more confident and safe to get vaccinated because I knew how it was working and what I was doing. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I would like to do in the future for my career specifically, but I do know that I love biology and I can't wait to continue learning about it this fall when I attend Kenyon College, and this scholarship is really gonna help me do that. Thank you. 
Um, and it is true, the more you know, the more likely you are to get vaccinated. There was recently an American Medical Association data that came out that turns out 94% of doctors have been vaccinated, which really begs the question, what do they know that everybody else doesn't know? Because uh, in Colorado, we are very hopeful we'll reach President Biden's goal of 70% uh, of 18 and up with the first vaccine by July 1st, but we still have a long way to go uh, to reach that level of vaccination that doctors and nurses already have. Um, thank you, Sabine. Um, and um, now I'd like to introduce Hannah from Golden. Hannah's dream is to attend the John Jay School of Criminal Justice in New York City to study criminal justice and, uh, and criminal psychology. Hannah was honored with the COVID Resiliency Award from her own high school for her work to help other, others overcome struggles with mental health issues and feelings of isolation that so many of us experienced across this uh, very extraordinary last year. Today we have in the audience Hannah's mom, Missy, who is a nurse, uh, one of our frontline first responders. She's been on the front lines during this pandemic and uh, it's just a great sort of full circle that the state is now able to come around and help her daughter achieve her dreams. So Hannah, what does resilience mean to you? And how will this $50,000 scholarship help you achieve your dreams? Um, first of all, I wanna start off and just say thank you so much, Governor Polis, I appreciate it. Um, resilience to me, specifically during this pandemic, is maintaining a positive outlook, reaching out to the ones I love for help in my times of need, and doing my part to ensure the health and safety of those around me. I embrace the science and I appreciate all of the hard uh, work that our frontline workers have done, such as my teachers, such as my own mom. Um, with my big, big hopes of college in New York City, this scholarship will make that next step possible for me and really make my dreams come true. So there's no way I can really <laughs> say thank you enough for that. Congratulations, Hannah and Missy. Thank you for all of your work on the front lines in the pandemic. Um, I'm excited to introduce our youngest winner yet. Thir remember, the vaccine's available for everybody 12 and up. 13-year-old uh, Levi from my hometown of Boulder. Uh, I'm told he was uh, he had a healthy dose of skepticism when he when he thought when he was notified that he won this award. He even at one point thought it might be part of a kidnapping plot. Um, and I bet you're feeling some relief now, Levi. Um, Levi loves soccer, skateboarding, and a great pair of sneakers, as I do too. Uh, Levi is joined today by his parents, Shayna and Glenn. Um, so Levi, now that you know you're not getting kidnapped, um, why was it so important for you to get vaccinated? What led to that decision? And how did you react to the news that you now have a $50,000 scholarship for college? Um, it means a lot to me to get vaccinated because we've been living in this pandemic for so long and I just want everything to go back to normal. Like going back to in-person school, being, in, being indoor with a bunch of friends and finally planning trips to see the grandparents. And when I first heard that I won this award, I thought it was a complete scam until we got all the information. But now that I know it's not a scam, I am very happy and my parents are very, are very grateful because now they have a good way to pay for my college. Thank you. And you know, for those who are 12 and up, the $50,000 scholarship will grow in College Invest. And so hopefully for Levi, who's 13, this will be 60 or 65,000 by the time he graduates high school. So that's an extra reason for 12 and 13 and 14 year olds uh, to get vaccinated. The, the $50,000 will be even more uh, by the time you need it to go to, uh, to school. And thank you, Levi, for, for, for setting that trend and, and setting the way. Next, I'm going to introduce our two virtual guests. First, Brady from Arvada, joining us from the great state of Montana. Brady is boldly leading the charge on key issues in her school, in her community, and she even aspires to enter the political arena in the future, so we may see more of Brady. But even the boldest, the boldest of us can be afraid of needles, and that's something that Brady struggled with and that many people struggle with in deciding uh, when and if to get the vaccine. Brady, what advice would you give to other teenagers or people of all ages who are just a little bit afraid of needles or afraid of getting the vaccine, um, and how, especially now that you've won a $50,000 scholarship for having faced your own fears? Brady? 
Um, before I got the vaccine or whenever I get any shot for that matter, I get super nervous anticipating the needle. Um, I don't like to be poked whatsoever and even seeing the newsreels of people getting the COVID shot scared me. Um, I always knew I was going to get the vaccine as soon as it was available for 16 year olds, but I also knew it was going to be a really big struggle for me anticipating it. Um, when the moment finally came, I just told myself that the pros of getting a pinch for a split second in my arm outweighed a ton the cons of not getting the vaccine at all. Um, now I rest easier knowing I'm protecting myself, my family, and those around me, um, especially when visiting grandparents or people at higher risk uh, on vacation like I am now. Um, I'm so grateful for the scholarship, and um, I think what's next for me is to just keep trying hard and studying in high school so that eventually I can go to university and study political science. Um, the vaccine has not only given me assurance in my health and the health of those around me, but also being able to afford higher education. Thank you so much, Governor Polis. Thank you, Brady. And I think all of us appreciate you standing up to your fear and, and uh, for many Coloradans who are hesitant uh, or worry uh, about it. Uh, it is a very minor inconvenience con compared to getting COVID or compared to the pandemic, uh, which has taken uh, over 6,500 of our fellow Coloradans from us. Our final winner is Zen from Parker. Uh, Zen, like so many students, did his part, got vaccinated, uh, in part so he would be able to tour his dream schools across the country and make an informed decision. He's actually in Utah right now, touring colleges. Uh, Zen, how are the campus visits going, and what are you most looking forward to experiencing in college now that you're safely vaccinated? So far, the college visits are going great. I've had a couple of different tours by now, and it's fun to envision myself at the different schools across the nation. Uh, in particular, I'm really excited to experience the full college experience, and I'm especially looking forward to being able to walk around in the heat without a mask on now that I'm vaccinated, so thank you. And we hope you're also looking at Colorado colleges. We have some great schools right out here, Zen, CSU, CU, Fort Lewis, Western. Uh, we have a number of great schools, uh, and, um, and, and hopefully you'll take a look at those too. But wherever you go, wherever you go, uh, I know that this $50,000 scholarship will help you, and I hope you're having a great time visiting all over our country. Um, thank you to our winners today. The entire state of Colorado is rooting for you. And now the moment you've been waiting for... And Zen and Brady will have some for you as mementos as well uh, when you get back. Uh, for anybody who wants more information on the Colorado Comeback, uh, go to coloradocomebackcash.com. Uh, if you get vaccinated in the next week, you'll still be in uh, drawings uh, if you're 12 to 17 for the $50,000, if you're 18 and up for the million dollars. Uh, and now uh, we're going to introduce Colorado's next million dollar drawing winner. And you know, there's countless reasons to get the vaccine. For most people, it's about protecting themselves. But for some who are putting it off or afraid of needles, who are in your minds think, I'll get it someday, 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 and procrastinate, there's a good reason to get it now. And that's because you could be Colorado's next million dollar comeback cash winner. Uh, it's my honor to introduce Colorado's next comeback cash winner, Pete Vegas. Congratulations, please. Pete is a Cajun. He came to Colorado from Louisiana. He started a food and agriculture business in Boulder where he lives with his wife, Jean. Pete and Jean couldn't wait to get their vaccines and received uh, doses on, on the first day it opened up eligibility for their age group uh, and, and never imagined that uh, he would be drawn up to win a million dollars um, simply for pursuing their own desire and plan to get protected as quickly as possible. Uh, he helps manage over 200 employees in food manufacturing. He implemented COVID safe policies to protect workers even before official guides came out from CDC helping to protect the lives of, of their workers. Pete plans to use some of the prize money to uh, get some great outdoor gear, uh, but mostly to invest in growing the infrastructure for regenerative agriculture 
at uh, his business and throughout the community. And in the spirit of innovation, uh, he'll be helping to power the Colorado comeback for Main Street and rural businesses in his uh, community. Uh, we're going to reveal the check and then I'll invite Pete up. Ta-da! Congratulations to uh, Pete and Jean. We're looking forward to seeing the impact that you make uh, with this unprecedented gift to you and your community. And I want to thank you for paying it forward on regenerative agriculture, on climate, on opportunity. And I'll turn it over to Pete. Thank you. So first, Jean and I want to thank Governor Polis and the rest involved um, for this wonderful gift, and in particular, their efforts to fight COVID. So just a little bit about myself. I started my career as a farmer. Um, I've been in food and agriculture my entire life. Um, my company is owned by myself and my sons. We basically contract with rice farmers um, to grow rice for us. We cook and freeze it. It's sold in most of the grocery stores in Colorado today. And the next pros you know, project on our books is we hope to build a multi-acre greenhouse in Colorado to service Colorado with what we call leafy greens, which is spinach, lettuces, that sort of stuff. So it'll be grown locally using less water, you know, environmentally friendly. Um, so the majority of the money that I'm getting, um, some of the money, you know, I'm gonna use to put a dent in some of my personal debts, mortgage, um, buy mountain bikes for Gene and I, maybe take a good vacation. But most of the money is gonna go towards an area that I'm very passionate about. Um, you know, I'm very concerned about climate change and the effect that the human race has had on the environment. Um, major changes, you know, I, ag is an area that I feel that I can contribute and major changes in agricultural practices are desperately needed to improve soil health and bring carbon back out of the atmosphere into the ground where it originated and belongs. Um, and because I'm in agriculture and I deal directly with farmers, farmers grow for me. I'm in a position to actually affect some change. Um, it's very expensive to try to convert to um, regenerative ag. It takes a few years to learn to deal with insects and weeds that you've never handled without chemicals before. So, so these often lose money and there's a lot of experimentation that needs to be done. So my plan is to fund you know, experimental plots where people can learn to grow these crops um, regeneratively, um, you know, and subsidize the farmers that are putting an effort into this and put training programs in for those that are interested. Um, so in terms of vaccine, Gene and I, you know, could not wait to get the vaccine. I literally got it the first day that the 60 and older groups were eligible. Um, it's been a huge relief. And of course, a major change in lifestyle. We're almost back to what I would call a normal lifestyle. Um, I'm a big proponent of vaccines. Um, diseases like polio, smallpox, have been around for thousands of years. They literally have found evidence of these in the pyramids. And these, vac these diseases would still be here today if it wasn't for vaccines. Um, Smallpox used to kill three out of 10 people. Um, polio would kill or maim, paralyze half a million a year. You know, it used to terrify the nation in the summer. Um, so smallpox was completely eradicated in about 80, and the Gates Foundation has made tremendous progress to eliminating polio. Um, so taking a vaccine is not all about yourself. I mean, I mean, of course, it's good for you. You should take it. Um, but the decision is really about joining with the rest of the human race to try to eliminate vaccines so they don't stay with us, you know, for years to come. So we really need to pull together to deal with COVID vaccine. Over two and a half million doses of the COVID vaccine have been put out worldwide. And obviously it's safe. You're not seeing problems. Um, and countries like the U.S., where we've had half the people vaccinated. Um, it's, you know, we're, we're experiencing almost normal life. It's not like that in India, South America, where they're way behind us. So the vaccine's been tremendously successful. It's not a time today to be 
selfish or complacent. It's a time to think of others as well as yourself and get vaccinated. Um, thank you, and thanks again. Um, you know, and that's a good reminder. There are people in other parts of the world um, where they would do anything to get the vaccine that we just take for granted that we have as Americans today. There's people where the areas where the hospitals are full of, uh, of dead and dying, uh, bodies are piling up, uh, very little access to the vaccine, you know, one, two, three percent of the population. And, and here we are in a country where it's free, it's easy at your local pharmacy, uh, at any of the drive up or pop up sites, at your doctor's office, at the hospital, wherever you want to get it, however you want to get it it really couldn't be uh, much easier to get than, than it is uh, here in Colorado and here in the United States. And I just hope that people listen to Pete's story and, and take advantage of that, uh, really take advantage of that. And uh, if, if winning a million dollars or $50,000 helps you know, convince you to do that, by all means, do it now. You'll be eligible for the next million dollar giveaway uh, if you get vaccinated in the next few days. Uh, cases in many parts of our state continue to drop, and there's just a direct correlation between vaccination rates and caseload. And then, unfortunately, some of the areas of our state that have lower vaccination rates, Mesa County, for instance, has some of the higher COVID rates in our state. And we want to call on residents, no matter where they live, to get protected. Uh, we are nearing the end of this uh, long marathon and pandemic. Um, the uh, pandemic is not yet over, but for people who've been vaccinated, their lives have largely been able to return to normal uh, as we work to end uh, the pandemic. You can visit cocovidvaccine.org just to find out where you can get vaccinated. It's super convenient. Safeway, Albertsons, uh, your local pharmacy, your local doctor's office. You can also call 877-COVAXCO. For the latest information on walk-in appointments, on same-day appointments, uh, many places don't require appointments, you simply show up. Uh, with that, we'll welcome our scholarship winners back to the stage, and uh, both Pete and the scholarship winners and I are happy to take questions. Governor Polis, hi, Sarah Flower from KSUT Four Corners Public Radio. First of all, congratulations to all of the scholarship winners as well as Pete, uh, nice to line your pockets there. But my question uh, kind of going off of what you just said, Governor Polis, in regards to Mesa County and, and vaccination rates overall, there seems to be quite a divide between red and blue states as much as it is vaccine equity. Um, what are you and your team doing to kind of bridge that gap between rural and and uh, bigger cities to ensure that some of those red states are, are getting their numbers up for vaccines? No matter what your, your politics are, getting the vaccine is the right thing to do. And that's why uh, President Trump, President Biden, uh, President Bush all gotten vaccinated. Uh, and it really um, has very little to do with what your political ideology is. It has everything to do with uh, knowing that science has come through with a successful vaccine to end the pandemic and protect lives. And so getting that message out, using the data, showing the correlation um, between the great uh, effective uh, efficacy of the vaccine and the more and more data that comes out, um, the more and more confident we are that, um, that this is ending the pandemic. We've, there's even been studies that have found that among the relatively few people with breakthrough cases that get cases after they've been vaccinated, those cases are much less severe than cases in people that have not been vaccinated with lower hospitalization rates and negligible death rates. Uh, the data also shows that the vaccine is uh, very close to 100% effective for that 12 to uh, 16 year old age group. So for the youngest folks, it's even stronger efficacy of the vaccine than it is for, uh, for older, older Americans. So I encourage people to look at the data and the science and it's uh, overwhelming and we're so fortunate to have this vaccine. There really hasn't been a vaccine that's made this type of transformative impact since the polio uh, vaccine in the 1950s that my parents' generation was the first, among the first to receive. Hello, this is Meg Wingeter from the Denver Post. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, the question is about, um, in the first week of June, we saw um, the number of new vaccinations go up for the first time since April. I know there's a reporting lag, but is there 
any indication yet of whether we're seeing that continue? Well, I, I you know, I, I want to encourage you to, um, l l when you're looking at stuff, it, it, remember it can't, it can't go up very much or at all because there's a smaller and smaller group that hasn't been vaccinated. Um, we are approaching and we are optimistic that we will achieve President Biden's goal of 70% of people uh, age 18 and up uh, by July 1st with at least their first dose. But beyond that, we're hoping to make significant progress on 12 to 17. And then we have very high numbers for people in their 60s, 70s and 80s, and we, we'd love to get a few more. But as you get more and more of the folks, uh, in, in the numbers will um, not be able to keep up with some of those early numbers when you had 100% of the population or, or however many were eligible at that time. But the short answer is yes, we're seeing strong daily numbers that should have us on track to achieve President Biden's goal by July 1st, but we have to keep the pedal to the metal. We have the mobile vaccination station out at Juneteenth celebrations in three cities in Colorado. Uh, we did the outdoor sporting events in, in Vail and in the high country recently. Uh, it's available at your local pharmacy, um, at, at Safeway, at Walgreens, at CVS, your local hospital, your local doctor's office. So uh, we are counting on uh, these continued kinds of numbers for first vaccinations uh, for us to be able to meet the July 1st goal. That's it. Great. Thank you and congratulations to everybody.